Hi guys, it's me Jenna with the White Witch Parlor and I just want to do a little Mabon magical spell with you. This is a great fun thing to do with family or friends because you can do it with lots of, lots of apples or you can do something just by yourself, solitary if you like. It is a blessing spell. It's something to kind of harvest in more manifestation power towards your dreams or goals. And because the autumn season is such a time of robust energy and abundance, we want to harvest that energy in and really push it towards our intentions so that we can better manifest the things we're desiring in our lives. Some of you have actually asked about this uh, ap Apple Maybon Blessing Spell because I had mentioned it in a previous video of how I manifested my home and I spoke about how last Maybon I actually did this spell and sure enough within a few months we were moving into our dream environment. So I wanted to share with you how I achieved that and what kind of spell and intentions I was putting out there. And it is something really simple. And like I said, you can do this with a group of people. You can do it in a bigger bowl of water, which I will explain in a second. And you can do it with multiple apples for multiple wishes. If you just want to get a couple things out there into the universe, you don't have to just set your intentions on one goal or one manifestation. If you have a couple of dreams or wishes you want to acquire in your life, then go ahead and pick a couple of apples from a local tree. And if you cannot get your hands on some local apples somewhere, or especially if you cannot pick your own from an apple tree, don't worry about it. Just go to the store and get some good apples for you. Try to get organic ones that are more natural and closest to the earth um, in the way that they are produced from Mother Nature as you can. And that is the best way to go about it if you can't do it by going somewhere local. So this spell can be done anytime during the autumn equinox or you can do it the night of Maybon or leading into the morning of Maybon. Whatever you feel is best. I genuinely like to do it kind of within the first week of the turning of the autumn season because I feel like that's when the change is the biggest and the energy is like at its peak. So for me, I like to do it sometime within that first week. Don't be too hard on yourself if you can't get around to it. You can always do it anytime during the autumn season. Just let the autumn wind inspire you and get moving on your magical workings. So for this simple Maybon blessing spell or manifestation spell, you will need some apples. You will also need some cinnamon. And this is something, again, it can be bought or if you can harvest it yourself, all the better. You will also need a candle, preferably a white candle, but you can use anything that you feel maybe is more prominent to the spell you're casting. So you can incorporate some candle magic into that and the, um, the vibration of colors. You can use either a tea light candle or a small little taper candle, like a spell candle, um, because you're going to be carving a hole into the top of the apple so that you can place the candle inside. You're also going to be needing an athame or some kind of small carving knife. You can also use a pumpkin knife if that's e easier for you. And if you're working this spell with children, you can use a Sharpie or a marker instead. Because with that, we're gonna be inscribing our wish upon the apple. And that is what we're gonna be doing with that. But you will still need a knife and the adults can cut the top of the apple to place the candle in. You're also gonna be needing a bowl of water. This can be a big bowl for many apples and many wishes or a small bowl. The water you can gather from a local stream or lake if you can. If not, again, that's okay. You're gonna need a wand or some kind of magical um, stick if you don't have a clear quartz point. And this is gonna be to stir in your salt for the water. The salt is to purify all your intentions. And I'm gonna be using my red root chakra salt here today because red is highly associated with Maybon and the root chakra and really harvesting in that earthly energy. And then you can just bring some extra things around your space like some candles to help set the tone. You can use crystals to help set the tone. I brought with me an antique key and this is to help me unlock some new manifestations. So I just have these little talismans and totems all around and just things to help me get 
better in the mood. You can also incorporate some music, some incense. You can burn some resins around you. Frankincense would be a great one to use for this spell. And just really find yourself getting in the mood and make this a really special, special magical Mabon time. So once you've taken a moment to really settle your energy and really meditate on your intentions and know very clearly what it is you are trying to manifest into your life, then you can move forth on this. And because this is a time of really abundant energy, you might find yourself feeling a little like zappy almost because you're going to have so much energy that you're harvesting in. So you really want to pull all that energy together and kind of make an energy ball or center it into your own essence and just meditate with that energy for a moment and really find yourself getting more clear, level-headed, and balanced. If you have anything handy that you want to smudge your apples with, feel free to do so now and start your ritual or your blessing spell by just running your apple through the smoke and just really, really pinpointing that intention in your mind. And really that's all this spell is. It's just really, really holding your intention, knowing what it is you're trying to manifest into your life, whether it's big or small, and just knowing that the turn of the season will help you get there. So after you've cleansed your apple, you're going to take your salt and you're going to bless your water. So you can use regular sea salt. If you don't have colored salt, that's fine. And basically you're going to sprinkle a little bit of your salt into your water and you're going to bless it. I like to do it in a clockwise motion making a ring. You can also draw a pentacle if you like with your salt and then after you place it in the water go ahead and with your clear quartz think of your intention very clearly and then stir it up and if you're doing multiple blessings and multiple apples then you can definitely just bless us in general for all your wishes wishes and dreams to come true. And just again stirring it in a clockwise motion, making sure the salt is starting to disintegrate. And you'll find that magic starting to really manifest itself. We do it in water so that the water helps us to learn to go with the flow. So whatever the universe might present to us in terms of our dreams and manifestations, we need to learn to also go with the flow and not be too in charge of how it's going to happen, but let it just rather come to us. So next you're going to take your apple that was blessed, and this is where you can start inscribing the word or an image or whatever it is you feel that you need to write, you can carve into the apple your blessing. So for me right now, because I am going through pregnancy and I have my little one growing inside me, I just want to do a general health and wellness blessing. So I'm going to just pray for good health and just bring that into my life. And so that my little one is healthy too, because a healthy mama is a healthy baby. So I'm just going to do the word health because that's what I'm manifesting. It could be anything that you're manifesting though. And you can carve it, you can get really technical and carve it like as you would a pumpkin. You can also do runes, you can do symbols that mean something to you. And I'm gonna draw a little heart as well over it. So just take your time with this and get as detailed as you want. You can get really detailed and make something really, really special. Or you can just write it in there. And you'll notice too, it's really hard to see it if you carve it like I'm doing it, just a simple word. You almost won't even see it at first, but you know it's there and that intention is there. So blessings and health is all I'm hoping for now. And so basically we're gonna take this remove some of the pieces and then we're going to place it in the water just to give it a little bit of blessing blessing itself and then while you place it in the water you can also uh, cut a little bit of uh, the bottom off of the apple if you want it to stand straight up or you can work with it as is so once it's in the water and you feel like it's being blessed now you can take it and carve out the top so Depending on what candle you're going to use is how the size of the top that you're going to need to take out. So I'm going to use the tea light candle, so I'm going to need a bigger hole than I would with the little taper. And be careful with this part. You want to pick an apple that's a little soft because if you get an apple that's too hard, 
you might find it to be really difficult. So just carve away as much as you can just to make a hole big enough for your candle. And it is easier to work with the taper just because it's a smaller hole to carve. So once you finish carving the hole atop of your apple for your candle, go ahead and holding that intention still, place your candle firmly into the top of the apple. Make sure it's going to be sturdy and safe um, because you do want the candle to burn down and you don't want it to topple over or become not safe at any point. So you know, always work with flame and be careful when you do. And so once you're keeping that intention and your candle's in place, now you can go ahead and light the flame. Now once your candle is lit, take in that beautiful light energy, that wonderful glorious illumination that really enhances the power of our manifestations and our own magic. So you can leave your candle burning a little bit before you move on to the next step if you like to just meditate a little bit. Or you can go ahead and get some of your cinnamon powder that you have. And really holding this intention again, um, cinnamon really works with the power of abundance and prosperity and blessings and bringing on in all those wonderful positive things. And it's warm and cozy. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit in a clockwise motion around our candle, apple, and even into the water a little bit. So whatever that intention may be, again, you're holding that intention and you're just thinking that word or that symbol or image in your mind. And you're just going to sprinkle clockwise the cinnamon powder over your candle. Now that you've completed this, you're going to really have to sit with this energy and really just bask in that thought and that emotion of achieving what it is your goal is. So you're already putting yourself in that vibration and in that energy of letting it come to you and that feeling you get as if it has already come into your life. And this is a good feeling, vibration, and energy to sit in and meditate with in during the first day of fall or any time during the autumn season, the, the Maybon Eve or the day of Maybon, anything that you feel drawn to do, do it because this will help you get there. And this will help you get there because you're letting go, you're letting the universe bring the things into your life, you're unlocking new opportunities and new doorways, and you're really just going to bring that energy to your life because now that that intention's out there, you're not worrying about it. You're letting go. And that's the really important thing about fall and autumn, and that's a beautiful lesson that we can take from the trees, is that the leaves are letting go. The trees are letting go. Everything in nature is changing, and they're embracing the shift. So all that nature is color and shifts and things that are just dying, but with death, we have new life. So this is what this time is to celebrate and honor and not only for things that we want in our lives, but our blessings in our lives too. So we want to be grateful for the good things that are all, that are already in our lives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple Maybon blessing spell. You can do it with yourself or with loved ones. It's, it's a really fun way to incorporate some autumn magic into your Maybon ritual. And I was so pleased to share this with you. So I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week. Bye.